In this video, we shall learn the physical features of South America. Well, South America is a continent in the Western Hemisphere, mostly in the Southern Hemisphere, with a relatively small portion in the Northern Hemisphere. It is the fourth largest continent in size and the fifth largest in population. It is bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean and on the north and east by the Atlantic Ocean. North America and the Caribbean Sea lie to the northwest. It includes 12 sovereign states that is Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Paraguay, Peru, Suriname, Uruguay, Venezuela, a part of France that is French Guyana and a non-sovereign area that is Falkland Islands, a British overseas territory though this is disputed by Argentina. In addition to this, the ABC islands of the Kingdom of Netherlands, then it is Trinidad and Tobago and Panama may also be considered part of South America. South America can be divided into three physical regions that is mountains and highlands, river basins and coastal plains. The major geographical features seen in South America are the Andes mountains, river basins, highlands, Pampas plain, Pantanal wetlands and Patagonia. Talking about the first, that is the Andes. The Andes or the Andean mountains are the longest continental mountain range in the world with a, with a length of 7,242 kilometers. The range spans the full length of the western side of South America, passing through seven countries, that is Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile and Argentina. The Andes are split into several ranges separated by intermediate depressions. The highest peak in the Andes is Aconcagua, stands at 6,962 meters and straddles the Argentina Chile border. Aconcagua is the tallest mountain outside Asia. The Andes can be divided into three sections that is the southern Andes in Argentina and Chile. Then it is the central range. The central range including the Chilean and Peruvian Cordilleras. The central range is a volcanic area which allows extremely fertile soil which is excellent for growing coffee plants. It has the eastern range that is Oriental Cordillera and it has the western range the Cordillera de Merida. Then it is the northern section, northern section in Venezuela and Colombia and northern Ecuador consisting of two parallel ranges the Cordillera Occidental and the Cordillera Oriental. The northern part of the Andes is an active volcanic region with many earthquakes on the eastern part of the Andes. The mountains plunge into lowlands. High plateaus are also a feature of the Andes. The Patagonia region of Argentina and Chile consists of lower elevation plateaus and rugged glaciers. The important mountain ranges 
in the andes are sierra nevada de santa marta in colombia and the peak here is pico simon bolivar 5700 meters then it is cordillera blanca in peru here the peak is hauscaran and height 6768 meters then it is cordillera occidental which lies in central andes that is bolivia and chile here the peak is nevado sajama 6542 meters then it is serra do mar brazil here it is pico parana 1877 meters then it is mantiquera mountains brazil peak is pedra da mina 2798 meters then cordillera pain which lies in chile the peak is cerro pain grand next it is cordillera oriental in bolivia and chile the peak is nevado b ilimani 6438 meters these were some of the important peaks south america has two principal highlands and they are the brazilian highlands and the guiana highlands located south of the amazon river in brazil the brazilian highlands are made up of low mountains and plateaus that rise to an average elevation of 1006 meters the guiana highlands are located between the amazon and orinoco rivers the heavily forested plateau of the guiana highlands covers southern venezuela french guiana then it is guyana northern brazil and a portion of southeastern colombia let's understand the river basins now south america has three important river basins and they are the amazon orinoco and the paraguay parana system talking about amazon basin amazon basin is quite wide in the west that is 1300 kilometers and it narrows eastward its width is minimum where the guyana highlands and the brazilian highlands come closer here it is just 240 kilometers as a river approaches the atlantic ocean the width of the plains increases now these are mostly forested areas and largely inaccessible due to the frequent flooding and dense undergrowth most of the amazon plains are covered by tropical rainforests the amazon rainforest also known in english as the amazonia or the amazon jungle is a moist broadleaf tropical rainforest in the amazon biome that covers most of the amazon basin of south america nine countries share the amazon basin most of the rainforest that is 58.4% is contained within the borders of brazil the other eight countries including peru with 12.8% bolivia 7.7% colombia with 7.1% venezuela with 6.1% Guyana with 3.1%, Suriname with 2.5%, French Guyana with 1.4%, and Ecuador with 1%. Then we go to the next river system, and that is the Orinoco River. It flows north of the Amazon. The Orinoco flows in a giant arc form. for more than 2736 kilometers originating in the guyana highlands of northern brazil and discharging in the atlantic ocean in venezuela the orinoco river basin encompasses approximately 80% of venezuela and 25% of colombia a vast savanna or grassland region also known as llanos is the primary biome of the orinoco river basin the llanos is primarily made up of grasses like most grassland biomes the llanos is the perfect habitat for many bird species including the 
स्कॉलेट आइबिस बेलबर्ड एंड अम्ब्रेला बर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट रिवर स्पीशीज इंक्लूड द पिराना इलेक्ट्रिक ईल ओरिनोको क्रोकडाइल which can reach a length of more than 6 meters then we come to the paraguay parana river system this river basin covers almost 2.8 million square kilometers which is much of southeastern brazil and bolivia paraguay and northern argentina the parana river includes igazu falls a massive series of waterfall that extends for 2.7 kilometers The next important geographical feature is the Pantanal wetlands. Pantanal is one of the largest wetlands in the world and it lies towards the southwestern part of the highland areas. It is a region of swamps and marshes. It is located mostly within the Brazilian state of Mato Grosso do Sul. But it extends into Mato Grosso and portions of Bolivia and Paraguay. Next is the Patagonia. Patagonia is a sparsely populated region at the southern end of South America, shared by Chile and Argentina. The region comprises the southern section of the Andes Mountains and the deserts, pampas and grasslands in the east. Patagonia is one of the few regions with coasts on three oceans, with the Pacific Ocean to the west. Atlantic Ocean to the east and the Southern Ocean to the south the Colorado and the Barrancas rivers which run from the Andes to the Atlantic are commonly considered the northern limit of Argentine Patagonia then we learn about Pampas Pampas refers to the fertile South American lowlands that covers more than 7 lakh 50000 square kilometers and include the argentine province of buenos aires la pampa santa fe entre rio san cordoba all of uruguay and brazil's southernmost state that is rio grande do sul the vast plains are a natural region interrupted only by the low Ventana and Tandil Hills thank you for watching